Welcome to Tiny Tours. I'm Jean Felstead, a docent at the Meadows Museum, and today we'll be taking a look at the Investiture of St. Ildefonsus by Juan de Borgogna. Not only is this a beautiful work, but it has levels of understanding that might not immediately to be obvious. We will want to explore them but first, some basic information. It is a large work, eight feet tall by six and three quarters feet wide. The artist has used both tempera and oil paint on wood panel. Its creation date spans several years, circa 1508 to 1514. The artist, Juan de Borgogna, who lived circa 1470 to 1535, was, as his name indicates, most likely of Northern European origin, specifically from the region of Burgundy. He is considered to be one of the most important artists in Spain in the 16th century. Not only did he work in temperate oil, he worked extensively in fresco. Given his mastery of perspective, it's evident that he had studied in Italy, his use of perspective ensures that items painted on a flat, two-dimensional canvas appear to be three-dimensional. He shows this most effectively in his depiction of the floor tiles, but also in the diminishing size of the saints, in the triangular placement of their figures drawing the eyes back to the Virgin, and in the treatment of the columns. There is little known about Borgogna until he began working in Toledo in 1495, where he trained with the successful painter Pedro Berruguete. After Pedro's death, he had the opportunity to complete some of Pedro's works. His definitive opportunity came when he was given the commission for the chapter house of the Toledo Cathedral. From that time on, he and his workshop had numerous important commissions, and he was able to achieve both fame and substantial wealth during his lifetime. Borgogna's life coincided with the unification of Spain under Ferdinand of Aragon and Isabella of Castile, who were monarchs in the process of consolidating their power. Borgogna was fortunate to draw the attention of one of Castile's most pow powerful figures, Cardinal Francisco Jimenez Cisneros, Archbishop of Toledo. Cisneros had risen to a position of considerable religious and political authority during the last decades of the 15th century. He commissioned this work, The Investiture of St. Idofonsus, for the chapel of the University of Alcalá de Henares. This university was modeled after the Sorbonne and attracted a great concentration of European intellectuals. Some art historians believe that this work was at one time the center of an altarpiece. Saint Idolfonsus, the subject of this painting, was the seventh century Visigothic Archbishop of Toledo. He wrote and preached eloquently about the Virgin Mary, and the legend is that as a reward for his faith, a miracle occurred in which the Virgin Mary appeared and bestowed upon him a golden robe or chasuble, thereby giving him divine authority. This is the scene portrayed in the painting. Mary is accompanied by angels and saints, St. Catherine can be identified by the sword she carries, and although it's uncertain, the saint carrying the palm frond in the book may be St. Leocadia. It's interesting to observe that all the faces in the painting, except that of St. Edelfonsus, are idealized. They are oval with pale, unblemished skin and no distinctive features. St. Eudolfonsus, however, looks more like a real person with skin color, a prominent jaw, and a straight nose. This is, in fact, Cardinal Cisneros' own image, as is verified by extant portraits of him. By using his own image for the face of St. Eudolfonsus, 
he seems to be saying that his rule has the blessing of the Virgin Mary. Because the Cardinal commissioned the work, he could reasonably ask to be painted in it. It was not uncommon at all for donors to be included in the works they commissioned. Thank you for listening. Plan to join us for more of the Meadows Museum's Tiny Tours.